Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. Today, we're going to do an episode of Sovereign Citizen Stories. These are just a couple of uh, clips that I found on the Am I Being Detained Reddit Reddit uh, thread and also uh, an article on Twitter, um, which also came from the Reddit thread. Uh, a little bit of comedy here and a little bit of sovereign citizeny stuff. Uh, thank you tuning in. Thank you for tuning in to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Palmetto, Joe the lawyer. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. But most importantly, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. I got a lot of momentum. Help me get there. I can do cool new stuff with my videos, dual screen. I can have a merchandise shelf, everything. So I'm asking that you subscribe. Also, sign up for my email list below. Uh, if you sign up for the email list, you get a free PDF on the history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement. So this uh, this is a Twitter thread that we're looking at here from Rachel Menatoff. I think she's some sort of journalist who posted this on February 19th. It's a story of a woman, and it says... Uh, her, a woman who was arrested, it says, Heather Elena Meisel waived her right to appear before a bail review hearing today and is held without bond. Meisel is charged with attempted first and second degree murder. Ouch. After allegedly throwing a Molotov cocktail into a Jehovah's Witness Kingdom hall in Glen Burnie. But there's crazy stuff happening every day. The reason we're covering this is for the next piece. It says, according to charging documents, Meisel admitted to police that she made the explosive device with items she had at home. When police attempted to detain Meisel, she told them she was royalty and could not be detained by law enforcement. Well, that's an interesting one. Usually the sovereign citizens are railing against royalty, claiming that people like me a lawyer, are agents of the King of England, King George, who died many, many, many years ago. Um, or or the Moorish sovereign citizens seem to get into uh, a little bit of royalty stuff as well. Um, and that brings up, that give, brings me a question. Um, do you have to be a, a, a darker skinned individual in order to be part of the Moorish nation? Um, can, can, you know, non-African heritage individuals um, become part of the Moorish nation? I don't know. We're going to have to ask them more about that. I mean, I think they should be allowed, you know, if people want to be a part of it, they should be allowed to be a part of it. Um, anyway, uh, I, I just, you know, I just, I don't think we recognize royalty in this country, ma'am. I don't think we recognize that. All right, let's get to our other stories here. Okay, this is just a funny little post. Uh, not sure where this was posted, okay, but it says me. The people who are obsessed with law as the ultimate and defining measure of right and wrong are completely lacking in a moral compass. A law doesn't define what's right. It doesn't define what's decent. Laws are made up. They're a social construct. And anyone who holds themselves to a standard no higher than what they'll be punished for is a sociopath and as far as I am concerned truly evil. The cop shoving me into the car. Sir, you are still under arrest. <laughs> That's sort of sovereignty, but not fully sovereignty. Um, she actually has a good point there. The person who wrote this has a valid point. Is some some laws are unjust, for instance. Slavery in the United States was written into law. Segregation was part of law in the South. Those are unjust and immoral laws. So this individual is actually correct um, that the law uh, is not always moral. The law is basically what the legislators say it is. It's up to the people to hold our legislators to a high standard to make sure that the laws are fair and represent true justice. That won't always be the case. I will say, though, in my opinion, that the way, and as a lawyer and someone who studied the law, um, the law in the United States is, is, is very fair. It's very fair. It protects against discrimination based on race, um, 
based on immutable characteristics okay and that's one of the pro that's one of the you know the issues i have with sovereigns is overall the law is extremely fair driving without a light drive you know getting a driver's license to drive isn't asking that much um but yeah unjust laws should be protested at telling people to drive their driver's license and pay taxes is not unjust maybe excessive taxes but again you you deal with that through the legislature through the democratic process not necessarily by breaking the law um, but if a law is truly unjust then di civil disobedience is justified that's a long conversation we could have i just thought this was funny because it says here the cop shoving me into the car sir you are still under arrest <laughs> And that's that's the truth you know follow the law protest later file the lawsuit later um you know file your complaints get out and vote there's all these things you can do to change unjust laws in this country um i'm just scrolling the page here of am i being detained if you guys haven't signed up for it um there's the uh the link right there on reddit it's a great sovereign citizen page i thought this one was a little funny regis the king says bernie sanders if you are 18 or older you should be automatically registered to vote no thanks i will not register myself or my children when you register something you give up ownership of it like your car or rv or body regis the king um, and there was, there's a lot of comments. Let's take a look at some of the comments here. Um, and ter, pterodactyl, meaning registration is actually about a giant dinosaur, king of the skies. Reg is short for regimon, is, means to be. Ter, as you know, is pterodactyl. Regimon is a king of skies, pterodactyl. All hail regimon. Reg the king, turd, turd, just like it sounds. Probably a good idea to register in that case. Lots of good plausible explanations in this thread. They are all incorrect. Regis Philbin, you are only giving your information to Regis. Um, this this guy sounds like a soft sit. I don't know if he is a soft sit. Okay, he may be. Um, it's certainly not true that when you register your car, you give up ownership of it. Okay, um, and you know, look, I'm not one for registering all things, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, registration is, you know, a good thing in a lot of cases. Look, if you have a social security number, you can get social security benefits. It's not so bad. Yeah, can the government sort of use that to keep track of you for things? Well, yeah, that's true. I'm not saying that there's not a certain degree of trade-off when it comes to privacy. Um, but I'll tell you, in the 21st century, the government's going to find who they want to find regardless with all the technology that's out there. I'm not saying, you know, I'm not a big, I'm not a big government type person, okay? But um, you know, registering your car. Uh, is is a good thing if you're not registering your car you're probably doing something illegal you can't have it registered or you're a sovereign citizen okay that's every that's it, it today this was a short sovereign citizen clip little advertisement for am i being detained um i, I hope you enjoyed this show i try to put out daily or near daily content and uh i'm always looking for new and good stuff to do videos on uh please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed subscribe i'm trying to get to 10 thousand opens up possibilities for me on the show it's a free way to support this show this show will always remain free also also sign up for my email list get my emails uh if you sign up you get a free pdf history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement joe the lawyer common sense academy out